Good morning, world. I don't even know if my voice is going to work this early in the morning. What is up, guys? Welcome back to today's video. Of course, if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, guys, I'm here to do another highly requested video, and that is a day in my life. As you can see, it is 5.30 in the morning. I would say that that's a typical time for me to wake up. I wake up anywhere between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock, I'd say. 6.30 is like sleeping in. Right now, I don't know if a dust is going to pop out of my voice or, I mean, my bed head. I'm here in a platform. Nine and three quarters. Think it'd be a funny, do you? Waking up at 5.30 literally has changed my life. I feel like I have so much more energy throughout the day. I wake up in the morning in such a positive attitude. I honestly never wake up feeling tired. As far as my skin, I can tell you, just my, my attitude in general has totally changed. But my skin, since really taking care of my sleeping routine, very minimal under eye bags, I feel like my skin is cleared up. It looks brighter. It looks healthier. Kind of when I started going to bed earlier and waking up earlier, I also stopped drinking alcohol. I feel like those two things together, literally, just gave my skin life. Anyway, guys, so aside from it being extremely early, I thought I would take you guys with me on today's adventure. I have got a couple of chores that I need to get done. Now, the first one isn't really even a chore because we have to go to the spa. Oh, boo hoo hoo. But an appointment is an appointment. And let me tell you, last week, I actually mixed up this appointment. Today, I'm going for an IPL treatment at Gentle Touch. You guys know I've been doing IPL, Clear and Brilliant, and of course, Hydrofacials to totally reset my skin when I turned 30. Last year, I went through three Hydrofacials, three IPLs, and three Clear and Brilliant treatments to really reset my skin. And it's been about six months since my last treatment. So I thought today I would pop in and get a little bit of IPL done because I've got a couple of broken veins still left on the side of my nose. I don't know if they're left over from when we were working on my skin the first time or if they've broken since. I feel like they've actually just broken since. I've just got a couple of really fine veins that have broken on the side of my nose. I like to get them taken care of before they get too big. Of course, if you don't know, an IPL laser treatment is a laser skin treatment that delivers heat deep into the layers of the skin. And if you have any dark spots, sun pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, or broken veins, that heat will actually travel down into the skin, target those colors, and break them up, giving you a much more even complexion. That is something that I really wanted to work on because, honey, I suffer from sunspots, from being in the sun, literally as a teenager. I basically lived on the sun, also known as a tanning bed. Don't do that out there. I've actually done a whole story time on how I had skin cancer when I was in my early 20s from tanning beds and going in the sun. I do not recommend. Anyway, <clears throat> so today we do, oh my god, my throat, literally. It's like, Trevor, why are you, <gasps> do I see Romeo? Trevor, why are you talking so early in the morning? Anyway, so after we do the IPL treatment, I do have to do a little bit of YouTube work. We need to do some editing. I need to do some video planning because you guys, I need to get my butt in gear. And after all of that, if we still have time, which I think we should, I need to go to the mall and get some dark jeans because my dark jeans just got a hole in them. Do you guys feel like jeans these days just don't last as long as they used to? I feel like between my thighs and my legs are literally this big. And for some reason, between the thighs, still, I get holes in them. They don't even rub together, so... Okay, so my IPL appointment is at 10. It is now quarter to six. So for the first hour of the day, I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to catch up on YouTube. It's the one time in the morning when I get to watch all of my subscription feed, catch up on all of your guys' videos. When do you guys watch people's YouTube videos? Let me know in the comments down below. I always find that so interesting. Do you watch them at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day? Or, my voice just cracked again. Or are you sneaky at work right now and watching this video? Let me know in the comments down below. So for the first hour, we are going to catch up on YouTube. I'm going to answer comments. That's also my favorite thing to do in the morning is talk to you guys. I am going to go to the gym. 
that will take me. So from six to seven, we'll catch up on YouTube. From seven to eight, we'll get to the gym and then we'll shower from eight to nine. Although I don't need to do very much skincare because we're going to that appointment for 10. All right, so let's get this day started. Let's catch up on YouTube and cheers. Hey Siri, turn the movie lights on. You guys, I am also the king of Philips Hue light bulbs. If you ever want me to do a tutorial on my full setup, like I have got Philips Hue lights literally everywhere. They're all voice command and they're literally the gem of my eye. I love to play with them. Hey Siri, turn all the lights red. I mean, you guys. Hello. If you want a video on that, let me know. All right, guys, so I'm all set up here with my laptop and I'm going to answer some comments from you guys. At the same time, I'm going to be watching one of Alice in the Rabbit Hole's latest skincare videos, her nighttime skincare routine, because I see it says retinol. And you guys know we love retinol, retinase here on this channel. So let's catch up on that. I'm going to answer some comments. Let's get going. Okay guys, so I just finished answering all of your comments. I had my coffee and now we are on our way to the gym. It is freezing cold outside and I am all bundled up because A, I don't want to freeze and B, I can't get any sun on my skin before my IPL treatment. That man is like kids these days always on their phone. Anyway, I don't want to get any sun on my skin before we go for the IPL treatment because my skin is going to be extra sensitive. So I've got my hat on, I've got double hoods on, I've got sunscreen on. I'm gonna go to the gym, have to do chest. Yesterday I did legs, and let me tell you, I can barely walk today. If I could crawl there, I would. I have got to finish my pre-workout, get my life together, get my energy up. All right guys, let's hit it. We just need to take a moment of silence for literally every single muscle in my upper chest. So I just had a 47 minute workout, better late than never. We have got about one hour until we go home, get ready, make our way to our appointment. I hope it turns out to be a really nice day. I hope that it is not as cold when I go back out as it was this morning. I feel like every time I leave for the gym, it feels really cold. And then when I come home, I feel like, oh, it's not so bad. And also I watched the Super Bowl halftime show like three times during my workout. Jennifer Lopez, hello. When she's saying Waiting for Tonight, if you guys have been following my channel since the very beginning, you may know Waiting for Tonight by Jennifer Lopez was one of my, is one of my all time favorite songs. The music video, timeless. When she was swinging around that pole at the Super Bowl halftime show, singing, waiting for tonight, I feel like all my dreams came true. Anyway, let's go home, let's shower, do a little bit of skincare. I feel like every time I have an appointment, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much time. I can take my time, I can relax. And then all of a sudden I'm late. Story of my life. All right, let's go. All right guys, so like I suspected, I'm running behind. So I just got out of the shower, I washed my face, really simple. I used the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Cleansing Gel. It helps your skin gently exfoliate itself over, but it's not harsh. So my skin is perfectly prepped for the IPL laser. Like I said, I'm gonna keep my skincare pretty simple. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the 100% or like 99.9% .9 mugwort essence from I'm From. This is just a really comforting and hydrating first treatment essence. This is just going to help to lock in any moisture so my skin doesn't feel too dry. Of course, as soon as I get there, Lindsay is going to wash everything off. So whatever I put on is really not that important. It's just going from here to the spa. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my L'Oreal Paris. This is the Revitalift Sika Cream. This works for redness, but the reason why I'm using it today is because it is very moisturizing. As you can see, it's very thick. And what I'm going to do is add in just a drop of my Acaderma, the Oasis Barrier Booster. 
really hydrating serum. Normally I wouldn't use it because it's quite expensive just to be washed off the skin, but because I do want a little bit more moisture, I'm just gonna mix these together. If you're in a hurry, you can always mix your serums together. It's really not a big deal. All right, just like that, guys, my skin is hydrated, protected from the cold outside. I'm gonna bundle up, we're gonna run to our appointment. Let's go. Before we go, I did wanna show you guys the reasons why I'm going for the IPL today. As you can see right here, this is kind of our before picture. These are little broken veins on my nose. For some reason, I am so prone to those. And over here, I have one right there under my eye. IPL also works at stimulating collagen and elastin, so you get fuller skin, thicker skin, and less fine lines and wrinkles. But primarily why I love it so much is you can see almost instant results. I used to have a sunspot here on the end of my nose, completely gone. Anyway, that's my before. Let's take a good look. And then I'll show you guys directly afterwards. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, I just got to Gentle Touch. I am just set up for my appointment. Lindsay is about to come in and let's get this started. Okay, so we just finished the treatment and I wanted to show you guys immediately after how it looked. My skin is definitely a little bit rosy, but you guys, can you tell already? My skin is looking more full already. And I'll wait to get outside to show you the little veins that are gone already. And we're working on that big one over here. I cannot wait to see it outside, but overall my skin, literally, <gasps> luminosity? Luminosity who? start calling it Trevorosity. All right, let's get over here. And we're back. Sunspots, who? Broken veins, who? Can not relate, you guys. After just one hour, it's been about an hour since my IPL appointment. Hello, all those little broken veins. Whoa, there's the sun. I've got to stay out of that. Um, completely gone. Even this big one over here, we zapped a few times to try and get rid of it. It might need one more, but... I think we've got it. My skin overall is looking so much more luminous already. The texture, the complexion, the evenness, I cannot. I honestly can't tell you guys enough. IPL treatments, if you're the right skin tone, can be absolutely amazing, transforming, and the results are only get better as my skin heals. As you can see, I am a little bit red here, and I'll only be red until about the end of the night. I'm going to reapply lots of sunscreen, and I'm going to stay out of the sun. Now, I always get asked the price of an IPL treatment, and I always say, like any treatment out there, it really depends on the city that you live in. I don't live in a very big city, so these treatments don't cost you know, like a premium like they would in somewhere like New York or LA. I've had five treatments in total. I would say they're around $250 a piece, so you guys can do the math. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but it works. Okay, now I do need to do some editing, and what I'm going to do is set an hour timer because I really need to stay on track today. I've got one hour to do some video editing, but before we dive into that, I wanted to share with you guys a little package arrived in the mail for little old me and it contains some skincare goodies, of course, from one of my favorite online shopping destinations for Korean skincare products, and that is wishtrend.com. Now, I got a package from Wishtrend, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because you guys are gonna wanna see this. Okay, so the first package that I got is, of course, 
the Supple Preparation Toner. It is an amazing toner. It's almost a little bit viscous and could be used almost as like an essence or a very light serum. But this time I thought I would try the unscented version. You guys know I'm trying to work scents out of my skincare and if something comes in an unscented version, I feel like at this point in the game because I try so many skincare products and of course you can develop a skincare allergy at any time. If there's the option to go unscented, I am going to go unscented. This contains sodium hyaluronate which is going to moisturize the skin. It contains scintilla asiatica which also was in the moisturizer that we used earlier this morning reduce redness calm the skin soothe the skin also contains beta glucan this is going to restore your skin's ph level moisturize the skin it's essential oil free which is very important never put any essential oils on your skin they can burn your skin and cause an allergic reaction so essential oil free and just oil free amazing. Now they also sent along the polyphenols in propolis 15% ampule. Now this is great and the reason why I chose this one in particular is because this is for acne prone skin. I really thought that this serum would just be great when I'm suffering from those acne spots, pimples, zits, you know sometimes it happens, sometimes flare-ups happen and this is a serum that I've never used before which is rare. Of course, this is an antioxidant. It's gonna help at nourishing the skin, moisturizing the skin. And because it contains zinc, what a pretty little bottle here. It is colored and it's made of glass. Because it contains zinc, it's also going to actually make constrict those oil, those sebaceous glands. So if you're so if you have a very oily skin, this is gonna be great at controlling those oils. I feel like during the summer, that's when I suffer from the most acne, just from sweating or over sweating. This would be a great serum to try in the summer. So I may just keep this one and we may break it out for special occasions. Stay tuned. If you guys have tried this before, let me know in the comments down below. You guys know, and this is no surprise, I feel like I'm building a secret stash of my all-time favorite 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 toner now this is totally different from the dear claire's supple preparation toner you guys know i have mentioned this tons of times this is a toner that contains rice extract and that's going to help to turn over the skin at the same time as deeply hydrating the skin nourishing the skin but it has that first layer of exfoliation and that's why i really love it now I feel like I have so many bottles of this at this point, but like I said, it's my all-time favorite. Also, I keep an eye on the expiration dates on the bottom here, but I would use this all over my body. When you use it on the skin, your skin actually balls up a little bit. So if you're someone who suffers from textured skin, this is a phenomenal first treatment essence or toner to really help smooth out the skin and get it ready for any makeup. If you've just exfoliated, this is a great way to just finish off that exfoliation process to really smooth out the skin. At the same time, deeply hydrating, deeply nourishing, brightening. My skin has never been so bright since I started using this toner. This is probably one of the best finds I think I've ever found. You know. If you know, you know. Now, another thing that I did want to mention, and I picked this up with my own money. Now, the funny thing is, is I actually picked up this Pixie Retinol set before Christmas. You guys know I love to talk about Retin-A, Tretinoin Cream, Retinols, literally skin transforming ingredients. So I saw that this was one of the most famous skincare sets when it comes to retinol from the drugstore. And I was like, Trevor, you need to pick this up and try it. However, I got it and I've been sitting on it. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Best of Retinol. Now this is a tonic, a lotion, and a cleanser, but here's the thing, and here's the reason why I haven't tried it yet. Retinols make your skin very sensitive or more susceptible to becoming sensitive. And the fact that these also contain jasmine, I bet they smell delicious, but when it comes to fragrance on the skin that powerful, when literally the two main ingredients are retinol and jasmine, I feel like they just do not go together. And honestly, I don't even know if I wanna risk it on my skin. I just, I'm a little bit nervous. Now, when it comes to the cleanser, having a retinol in a cleanser, literally you just put it on the skin and then wash it down the drain. So you are actually washing away your money. 
Um, toner, again, really you want Retin-A or Tretinoin creams, retinols, to sit on top of the skin and really work on that top layer. So the deeper that they get absorbed into the skin, also the more sensitive. So when it comes to using a toner, sorry, I should be holding this up here so you guys can see it. When it comes to toner, having a retinol in it, hmm, I'm just not that sure. Now I am curious about the Retinol Jasmine Lotion, formulated with jasmine oil, peptides, uh, which are going to deeply hydrate the skin, and that vitamin A. Now you guys know the thing with retinol, especially when it comes from the drugstore, or even Sephora. <coughs> I almost just choked. Retinol is not FDA regulated like a Retin-A or like a Tretinoin cream. So anytime you buy a retinol from the drugstore, from Sephora, from Ulta, you don't know exactly what you're getting for the good, the bad, or the ugly. You could be getting absolutely nothing, or you could be getting so much that it irritates the skin and you could end up with um, a rash, irritation, inflammation. Inflammation is something that you want to avoid at all costs, especially when it comes to skincare because then your immune system comes into play and all havoc breaks loose. So I don't know, these are definitely very online famous, very Instagram famous as far as skincare goes. I'm not sure if I want to try it. Um, if you guys have tried it in the comments down below, I haven't even opened it yet. Okay, so I just wanted to share those new skincare products with you guys. I need to get some editing done. If you're another creator out there, please let me know. Editing to me, I feel like it's my least favorite part of the entire YouTube experience. I just love sitting down and talking to you guys, sharing with you, hearing from you. But when it comes to editing, looking at myself, listening to myself over and over and over again, just not one of my favorite things. But you know, I do it for the tube. Okay, here we go. All right guys, so it's actually two hours later. Fast forward two hours and I just drove to the mall. I'm so terrified of getting hit by any sun because my skin is so sensitive. I drove like off to the side. Anyway, we have arrived at the mall. I need to find some jeans. Please send me your prayers that we find some jeans. They can be so difficult to find, but this is the last chore of the day and here we are. Okay, we cannot have the sun on my face. You guys, I feel like today was such a success. I just left the mall. The sun is actually setting. You guys have followed me from sunrise, literally to sunset. And I feel like we had an awesome day together. So I did get some goodies. Now I did get some things from H&M and from Zara. They're all packed in the same bag because we are trying to be an environmental queen, and although I had to take one bag, better one than two. So I do want to show you guys quickly what I got. I did get some just basic blue jeans. These are the exact same ones that ripped because they're only $24.99, and I am not endorsing this. I'm not telling you guys to go get cheap jeans. Please don't do as I'm doing. Go get real jeans that pay real wages. I'm actually embarrassed. Now that I'm showing this to the internet, I'm embarrassed to be buying throwaway jeans. Please, please forgive me. So I also got, I finally ventured back into the ladies department. You guys, when I used to be on Instagram, when I was posting all the time, um, I used to shop. One of my biggest secrets to really cool clothing was venturing into the women's department in stores. So I got this t-shirt. It is... Can you still hear me back here? Any of you guys out there who can read what this says, please let me know. And lastly, I just thought that that would be a cool t-shirt just to sit around in the house in. So lastly, I did get the sweater that I tried on in Zara. This is just a turtleneck and I feel like, although I won't be wearing it very much this winter because winter's almost over, I can definitely just put it away for next year and save it because you know what? A turtleneck? 
can't go wrong black and white black and gray sign me up so anyway guys thanks so much for following me around today for getting my ipl treatment oh my god the sun i'm afraid of it um if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up thanks again for following me from the very beginning of my day until the very end also you guys i did want to mention quickly next week should be about next week we are going to hit 10,000 subscribers like always i want to thank you guys so much for joining this family if you're new if you're a returning subscriber i love and appreciate you so much you are the reason why i get to do this every single day if you have any ideas for future videos make sure to let me know in the comments down below give this video a big thumbs up i hope you enjoyed today's daily vlog getting my life together and spending a little time you know what i always say self-care is health care all right, guys, I am out of here. Thanks so much for sticking around until the very end of the video. Bye, guys.